see me, don't you? So I got around like this now, generally, don't I? The sort of a million things. And what am I not doing? Not letting him go. Shouldn't let him go. Yeah, because why? As he goes, where does my hand generally go? Doesn't it? So if I know, what's your name? If I know he's behind me, as soon as I can feel that, I can get the fuck out of the road. And he hits. Okay. That's the first one. Does that explain? Yeah. Anything else we know this? What's your name? Paul. So I'm the one popping the ball up the Paul. So as I pop the ball up, this fancy man in the down jersey must be in his coming. Well, what's your name? James. James in behind. Don't need a ball, James, move on. So I know James is going to track him. So what's my first step? Don't move yet. What's my first step? What did we see the boys' first step was? Where was their first step? Where was their first step? That's where it should be. Where was it? And then he popped the ball up, so. And then he was done that. And then he was done that. Yeah. So what are we actually doing? What are we creating more? Yes. So, if Paul is going to look to take me on, would he rather that? Would he rather that? Close him, close him. Close him down as early as he can. And the one last thing he'll say, Paul, sorry about the apology tonight. As Paul's coming to me, I'm going to head forward. Why? In what rule book is there any referees here? Any referees here? It's a trick question. If you're a coach, you always think you're a referee. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> Most of us, you know, where is it? Where is it written in the rules that because I'm the defender, you know, I have to just work with him. You know, I have to. I'm holding him up, but I'm holding him up. Must keep walking. I don't come on and go with somebody. You'll be all right. You know, I keep walking with him. Doing. You know, do you understand? I'm happy to hold him up, but we're still going the direction he wants. Why? When I pop the ball up, my head walk. Why can't I send him that way? You got to be prepared to test each other. I know this is a wee bit for the coaches as well. But there's two men over there that are picking names. Now they're going to need come a monster championship that decides when you want to go that way. I'm telling you you're going that way. Okay? So bring a bit of aggression to him. But talk. See when you go out here, if I don't know his two names, get to know his name. Because I'm going to have to tell him behind you. Set it up again. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's got the dispossession and flick a ball out of his hand. But if I was a proper referee, nine times out of ten, over can, over can. That's the work rate that you've done. And sometimes if you think about it in a game, in the probably the biggest lift, you have a full forward or a wing forward closing in on you, and the wing back's working on them, the centre back's working on them, and all of a sudden you hear that whistle, and you're about to turn to the referee and go, oh, I never fucking hit him! And the referee's pointing our way, over carrying. Brilliant, let's go and get it up the end. That's all about work rate, folks. It's all about work Super. Please go to your. Right? You want to suffocate that so you want more defenders there as possible. Okay? And for 
forward then to play as the player the best, what do you want up front? Space. Right? So this is what we're doing here. Sometimes the keeper, sometimes the coach is no good for this. And you see the example, in this year's All-Ireland Minor semi-final, lads, you'll be well tuned into it, because all your mates were playing in it, right? Galway were 1-1, one, 1-2 one, one, on the board straight away, Tipperary no score. Galway were sitting back a bit deep, weren't they? What happens then? Tipperary Minor goalkeeper gives a short ball to Jack Peters, corner back, takes it on, hand pass to Barry Heffernan, who delivers a long ball into the D section. And in that space of time, the Galway full back, half back, had been dragged out a bit, because we're going for the short puck out. Handy ball in. Ball end up the back of the net, think Stephen Cal was got a goal. You know. So that's that's why we're doing this drill boys, but it's it's an attack and drill, so the keeper is even attack. Attack and minded, defender is attack and minded. Do you know I mean, we might change it around then less where the keeper's going to give a short ball, you're just going to snap it maybe as that corner back and do what Jack Terrell does the other time. Just turns 360 and drives that ball as far and as long as he can. But your man is moving up here to get onto the ball. Right? So keeper this end, keeper this end fender's hand for that kind of sharp poker. Realize, look, sometimes it's a coach's job is redundant as when the man really starts. Sometimes you just have to see a team happen as a keeper, as a defender, and know, right, I need a sharp puck out now. Maybe pull out their defence that's fallen back if they're trying to defend a lead or something. What do you mean, Liz? You don't defend a lead, Liz. You attack a lead. I mean, attack and attack and attack. And see, minor hurlers, as we're a prime example of that. They attack every single team. You go four up, you win six up. You're six up, you go eight up. You don't fall back and defend the league, but some teams like to do that. So there is ways out of it, lads. No, so that's what we've done there. Short ball there, get it, tack, take on the man, and then you strike the ball. But what we, what we probably need it more there, lads, but some of the forwards were stacked. Do you know, like, it's, kind of, it's easier to score in front of the ball, lads, than score a point from out of the sideline. Some of you were standing there, waiting for him, and when he had struck, let's get this layer and see the flight of the ball. You know on your team, 